yesterday i was actually so enthusiastic about opening presents that i cut myself on the hand twice in the same spot yeah. so here are all the presents that i have and oh my god <laughs> let's just get straight into it first thing first i got this pajama set it's really cute because my family we all twinned we were all wearing the same pajama set which has never happened before and my parents also got me this hunger games necklace i actually got two and i was so excited when i saw them oh my gosh if it's not obvious by now, I'm a huge Hunger Games nerd. Anyway, so next up, I got these two sketchbooks. And they're both exactly the same thing, just different sizes. This one, I decorated the cover with some acrylic paint pens that I got. They're just regular markers, but instead of the ink, it's acrylic paint. Aside from those two sketchbooks, I also got a tiny little moleskin sketchbook i think for this notebook i will be drawing something that i'm grateful for every single day until i fill it up another idea that i had is to just keep it for learning spanish i could learn a new word every day by drawing a picture for that word if that makes any sense my family knows me so well that they got me some art socks this one is obviously mona lisa by leonardo dicaprio Da Vinci is probably rolling his grave right now. Leonardo Da Vinci, The Scream by Edward. Oh my gosh, I can never say his name right. It's Munch, Edward Munch. Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. I'm unfamiliar with this one, but it's called The Kiss. But yeah, very excited to wear these. Okay, next we have some white gel pens. I've been asking for these since forever in tiktoks when they just add the little highlights on the lips or the eyes and it turns out super realistic that's that's all i wanted all i wanted for my art oh okay they're watercolor pencils and just look at the packaging it's so nice <laughs> know alongside showing you all of my gifts i am actually going to pick some of the materials and make a piece of art i'm not sure what i'm making yet but just putting that out there <gasps> i totally forgot about this okay i also asked for some micro pens and i got them this christmas i was so happy i made a little goat drawing with a christmas hat and yeah, it, it, it's great. It's just, I love them so much. Here are the gel pens that I was talking about. It did come in this case. They are so cute. They have little cats on the bottom. I mean, not on the bottom, on the cap. And as a bonus, they also included some little cat-shaped paper clips. Here, let me try to show you. I feel like a beauty guru. <laughs> first thing first, I got some bar soap from Package Free Shop. It's an online store where you can buy biodegradable products, eco-friendly products, without any plastic packaging. I have some soap. They're wrapped. They just come wrapped in this paper packaging. It smells so good. It makes me so happy whenever I get products like this. I am trying to be more eco-friendly. I know a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you right now involves plastic in some way, but I can't really control that. I'm sorry. Oh, on a related but also unrelated topic, my family has officially stopped buying plastic water bottles. Here we go. We have some erasers i also did not ask for it but they're really cute so i'm not complaining the only thing that i don't like about it is well they're individually packaged in plastic i'm so very grateful i'm sorry that i sound like a complete brat right now it's just every time i use something that has a lot of plastic it puts a burden on my heart moving on i got this shirt from my aunt she is so nice she really does not have to get us anything for christmas but she gets gets for us anyways throughout the year she goes and buys a grocery for us and she gives us fruits she cooks us food when my mom's busy working and she's amazing my parents also got me these they are sour candy the sweet part of this is really good though Oh my 
god, I never want to cry. <laughs> Tastes like berry. It's really good. It just, the sour kicks you in the face. <laughs> Did you know, yesterday I got a tornado warning. That has never happened before. A tornado in the middle of the night? I, would, I thought, I really thought I was gonna die, but my parents didn't react. So I just went back to bed. The last thing I remember thinking was, wow, climate change is real. One of them is a pack of liner brushes for acrylic paint. How do you... Who designed this? I asked for this and I'm really glad I got it. I've been wanting to do a lot more line art, especially since I've been painting a lot more hydroplast and people are asking me to do cartoon designs that meet the black outline. The second item is some sketching pencil. I feel so spoiled right now. So this is what they look like on the inside. I think those are all the gifts I got, which means now it's time to pick some of these supplies and make a piece of art. So I decided to paint a cute little cat and my medium of choice would be this Faber Castell watercolor pencil set. For the sketch, I used the forged pencil from the sketching pencil set that I showed you guys earlier. To start, I'm blocking in some basic colors to help guide me in my painting process and then I activated the pigment with some water. I was kind of sad when I did this because I lost all the fur texture but hopefully, I'll be able to get it back later on. It is officially the next day. Last night at like 11 p.m., I was putting in the background. Today, I'm going to focus on this right here. So it's not just a flat mass of cat hair. I mean, something is definitely happening here. But I don't know what, and I don't know if I like it or not. We'll see. Finally, we get to the best part, which is adding highlights and whiskers using the gel pens. And let me just say, these pens worked perfectly. Oh my gosh, the whole painting just came together very nicely and I was very happy. For final touches, I'm signing my name off using one of the Micron pens. Thank you so much for watching. This took me three days to film, so I really hope that you like it. Here is the final painting. This is actually my very first attempt at painting a realistic cat and only my second attempt at using these pencils. If you'd like to see more art from me, make sure you subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on Instagram at Tramdoodles. It's my art account. I would really like to hear your thoughts, so please comment down below. You know what? I wish you all a good decade filled with new opportunities. Is that too cheesy? As always, the race is beautiful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.